Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Regrowth with myself, Lewis. Have you brilliant? Have yourself a great day. As always, I've actually been fairly busy between this and the last episode. I've had a day to kind of sort things out and do some quests and whatnot. So let me run you through what I've done first, and then we'll look at some of the quests that I've done as well. I've made some more flowers, which I think are going to be very helpful. I've made myself some glowstone seeds, and I've also made myself some rutil seeds, which is very cool because this allows us to get the titanium that we need. I wasn't meant to pick that up then. <laughs> as well as that, I've been enhancing our farm craft area just a tad of, so that we can start going into that. We had one of the great woods grow and I managed to fell it with my uh, lumber axe, which was good. And that took the whole thing down. It was insane. It was, it was glorious. I also managed to get myself some great wood leaves because we can use these later on as well as all of this wood. All this wood, well, except for like maybe a stack, came from that great wood sapling, which is great. And the uh, got 10 great wood saplings here as well. So it's, uh, it's fairly cool. Uh, I've also moved over my shards and my, oh, that's why I was cutting stuff up. <laughs> So I can make this little thing right here. And I've laid down a crucible and whatnot. I've got some things ready. Overall, it's looking pretty fancy. And I've also worked on my Batania area a little bit. I opened up the portal to Elvin again. And I've got some more Dreamwood. So I made some more Dreamwood spreaders. Added some of the... Uh of these guys on the front, the lenses, and I made it so that we can quickly do this because we're getting to the point now where whenever we want to do any infusion inside our runic altar, it, it takes ages. <laughs> so I put three of these down and hopefully that's going to do the trick as well as upgrading the ones that we have over there and over here. I also made two of all of the runes of uh, the seven deadly sins. So that did that quest for me. So if I show you inside here, if we go to... Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, I did all of these. I did this one, which needed the uh, Sky Stone. So I've got that now, which is good. We'd already done this one. So the Mana Elven Spreaders, which is great. So that was already done. And now I've got these two up here. We're probably going to start doing this one today. Get the Terror Blade and whatnot. Because this stuff down here is super helpful. The Fortitude and the Green Heart Canister is going to come in real helpful. Because I'm looking to think about taking on the Wither soon. <laughs> it's something we're going to be very quickly approaching. Because once I've got all the other seeds done, and made some uh, more farming areas we get some wither skulls after that and wither skulls are going to be needed for the never stars we need never stars for some of the witchery bits so we've got a lot to do and we need to start kind of preparing for that one but i think what we're going to start with is probably some farm craft because well why not we've got some of this we need to make this little table it might just be that we just need to do this quest and then we can uh, move back on some other things but for now we're going to settle this up it gives us some reward bags which is pretty cool and it also allows us to start doing some research i had a look at some of the other recipes from farm craft as well and it looks pretty, uh, you know, it looks pretty straightforward. So we're going to grab some glass. We're going to grab some of that. We, uh, uh, what else do we need? We need grass. Uh, grass. We need glass. We need ink sacks. We need some books probably somewhere down the line. Uh, we're also going to need some wood. And we're going to need maybe some paper. And we'll probably want to take some sugar cane over. For making more paper down the line. Because with Farmcraft we end up using loads of paper, don't we, for research and whatnot. So we'll make sure we got a decent supply of that. So first things first, let's make ourselves one of these. I uh, I always forget the recipe for this, like every time. So I think it's like something like this. I, I, literally every time I forget the recipe for this guy. It might be on the bottom maybe? Is it like that? No? Okay. Okay, I thought it might be that. No, no, okay. <laughs> At least I tried, right? I gave it a go. Uh, we want to make, if we can find them in here, these guys. And, oh, we need to use great wood. Ah, well, I, I got it wrong anyway <laughs> in how to make it, but... At least we know we couldn't have done it that way. So we want to use great wood for this. Well, that's fine. So we'll grab some of you. And we'll do a little bit of this. And we're actually going to probably want to make three of these. So let's do a little bit more. Here we are. Good stuff. And the first one we're going to place here for later. And then we'll place these two here. Now we're also going to want to get ourselves some scribing tools. So to do these, we just want regular ones for now. We're going to want a glass bottle. We're going to need some uh, ink. And we're going to need a feather. So let's get ourselves... 
some glass bottles, and we're also going to want a feather, so let's go and grab some of those. And ink's not really much of a problem because we have the dye essence, so we can make a buttload of that really, really quick. So we'll grab some feathers from here, and this will allow us to make that. I'm thinking I might make two, so we always have like a spare, because that's always a good idea, isn't it? So if we do some of that, and we get some ink sack, we make two of these guys. There we go. And all of this can kind of go in here for now. Yeah, there we go, good stuff. Alright, so there's that. And we can put our uh, scribing tools on top of here to make our research table. And we can also grab our wand and turn this into our uh, arcane work table. So that's uh, pretty much the basics of that. This guy can sit up here. Actually, no, this can stay in our inventory because for research purposes, it's always handy to have some paper and some scribing tools on you. So we're going to make sure that we always have a decent amount of that kind of lying around. So... That will do that for us. That should be a quest handed in. We've also got the arcane work table, so let's grab you. And that's going to break everything again, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to take one of these. I don't know why I've got two mana axes. I'm pretty sure I made one, and then I lost it, and I made another one, and I found the other one. That's generally how it goes with me, because I'm pretty forgetful. So now I'm going to be some common treasure, which is, a, which is awesome. Because there is uh, some good things you can get in these. So let's give it a little test. We're probably going to get a load of gold coins. But maybe we'll get something cool. Some uh, potions or whatnot. We got some. Oh, we got some ender pearls from that. That's pretty deep. Uh, we got a potion of swiftness. And some knowledge fragments. A potion of fire resistance. And a potion of regen. That's really good. And a potion of decay. So we got some decent potions from that. I think I'm going to place those in this chest. This will be all our kind of random loot that we've got from Farmcraft, because, well, why not? And Ender Pearls are always, you know, really helpful, so that's going to do that for us. This does lead us on to, oh, yeah, we can actually start doing some of the quests now. I didn't know if it actually had, like, a quest route that we could go down, but it looks like it does. So the next thing <clears throat> is to do the Gold Banded Great Wand. It gives us some uncommon, and it gives us some aura nodes. That's so good. Uh, I actually kind of that's kind of dangerous. <laughs> Getting given aura nodes. Why don't we place one down? And we get a... Uh, it's a very small chance, but you could get a hungry node. Just eat half our base. So I want to be a little bit tricky. I don't be careful about that. I don't think there's a config to change that. So it might be that that's the case. But we have got all of these now. So, you know, Falmium. We've got the Night Ore that needs doing. We've got Ready, Set, Go. So these are to make the red crystals in the Hourglass. I haven't actually played with any of these yet. These are from Auto Meiji. So, that's something that we can go into. Uh, we are going to need to start doing research. That's going to be one thing. And we're also going to need something else that I'm surprised it didn't have us try and do as a quest. Uh, let's have a look around here. Uh, witching gadget looks pretty cool as well. I want to get into witching gadgets. There's a few things here that are going to be really helpful for uh, metal making and things like that. So, that's something I want to go into. <clears throat> we have the... Uh, well, I've never actually played with this before. But I've, I've read up on it. So, I understand some of it. Which is good. So there is that. We've got the Pharmac Historica, the Procrea, uh, and we have the Auto Magi, which is the one that allows us to do the red crystals. So that will do that for us, as well as all of this. And Golomancy, Artifice, you know, all the general gubbins, alchemy and such. And we have all of these. Get our research notes for Nitor. The, the main one, I think, is going to be this one, to be able to get that. And I would like to get Great Wood. So we'll grab those. All right, what else is going to be really handy for us? Uh, if we do any transmutation jobbies, then it's probably going to be handy to get enchanted fabric, but we don't have that just yet. So we'll hang on to these two. You can go in the bag. There we are. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another chest just for placing all of our uh, research in. So you can kind of go there. There we go. And we'll put our farm and in there. And that. All right, so that's that. We are going to need one last thing, and that's obviously going to be the means to be able to scan and grab our uh, or learn our different type of aspects. So for that, we're going to need a thermometer, and I believe this requires a mana lens. Yeah, and we're also going to make our first set of runes, or runes, the first set of uh, these guys, air shards and whatnot. So we're going to kind of just do this. And uh, I didn't actually want that one. <laughs> I was actually hoping that would give me a different one. What does it do on the bottom? Gives us a water shard. What about through the middle? Gives us an order shard. What about this way? Gives us a fire shard. Uh, how do we get entropy? Um, 
We did that way, did that way. Yeah, we got you. Okay. That gives us water. Is it like this? Yeah, <laughs> there we go, good stuff. All right, so there's that. Sweet. Let's uh, quickly have a little sleepies as well, because I uh, we had to do the update, and I forgot to change around the config files to remove the direwolves. Although, my bed isn't working. Did they change it so you can't sleep now? <laughs> my bed doesn't want to work. <laughs> that, that totally sucks. Uh, I, don't, I don't sleep when I'm off camera, because... I don't need to because I don't have to worry about the direwolves making a noise, but um, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's a thing. I didn't realize that was a change. All right, so that's fine. Well, let's grab ourselves a couple of bits of gold and we'll grab ourselves a mana lens. I'm pretty sure I have some spares over this way. Yes, and look at all these. Look at all these mana tablets, all these full mana tablets. That is a lot of mana right there. That's going to be real good for making our Terra Steel. We're just going to we're going to totally ball out of control once we get Terra Steel. It's going to be sick. And as well, I'm going to show you how I got all those because I'm sure some of you are thinking, "Have you got that much mana?" Let me show you in here. With this one, it gave us four mana tablets just for making one of each of all the runes of uh, the Seven Deadly Sins. And with moving more mana, it gave us two. And we might even get more of these. As was this one. This one gives us Dreamwood and Sparks. Oh, maybe you don't get those, but we got buttload right there. It's pretty important. So let's make ourselves a lens. Not really doesn't really matter which one we use, I guess. We should do it this way. I guess it's like that. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. All right. So we got a farm bomber. We can start doing the scanage. <laughs> it's very important. There's a lot of things we can't learn at the minute, but there's things that maybe we can. You know, I don't know if we can do crack sand. No. The first thing I generally learn is I always just walk over and scan water. There we go. And uh, I wonder if we can do torches yet. Yeah, there we go. Uh, cobblestone should be one. Cool, cool. And then we have the ores. So if we get ore blocks, we can do like ore blocks. You know, I'm not going to do this on camera because this is going to be <clears throat> super boring to watch. Uh, maybe we can't do that yet. I feel like we can do uh, coal. There we go. Yeah, so that gives us that. Um, I, I always thought we could do ore straight off the bat. Uh, maybe not. Okay. And uh, we shouldn't be able to do paper yet. We might be able to get sensors. No. All right. But now that we've got those, that's not that bad. We should have some already inside here. Let's have a look. Uh, we got a couple. So if we do Earth and that, gives us Victus. Uh, if we do... I'm trying to remember which ones we can do now. <laughs> I, I generally uh, forget all these. Uh, let's try Ordo and Earth. Gives us Vitreous. Um, Earth and Life. Gives us Herba. And then Herba and Water. No. Herba and Potentia. No. Um, Potentia and Ignis. No. <laughs> This is pretty much what I do. I just sit here and I just play around with them. Um, there are websites you can go on if you kind of want to cheese it a little bit. But I do find it fun to just do this. Oh, there we go. Look, we got something. We got Permachatio. It's not bad. Um, I'm trying to remember the one to get um, Arbor. But it's it's eluding me at the minute. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's something like Terra and Herba. No, no. I'll, I'll remember it eventually. <laughs> But that's probably the easiest way to get all of the different ones. Just do this and uh, you'll, you'll come up with something eventually. And once you've got those, you can start scanning other things. I don't think we can do this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can. We can do that now. Um, I don't think we can do wood. But I'll try. Because I'm pretty sure wood needs the uh, arbor. Oh, there we go. We got it. <laughs> so we should be able to start doing lots of things around us now. Which is good. No, we can do all these. I don't, I don't know if these have research for them. No. Some of the witchery stuff might do. But I don't think we have enough uh, stuff to be learning any of this yet. Yeah. But that's pretty much what I'm going to do off camera, guys. I don't want to bore you with running around and trying to learn all of this. Because you might find it pretty boring. To be honest, I find it pretty boring as well. But it is one of those uh, evils that... You kind of have to do, but we'll place that in there. It looks a little bit weird. You know, it looks like we've slotted it in somehow to a slot that doesn't exist, but it's fine. These guys can go back in here with all these things, which is all good. 
and I think what we're going to do now is we're going to do some of the Britannia ones, and then we're probably going to move over to Witchery. Because I don't want to do any of the research or anything like that on camera, because it's it's mega boring to watch. So I'm going to, like I do the seeds off camera, whenever I do Farmcraft in the series, I always do off camera, because um, there's nothing really for me to show you there, it's just a case of doing it. So let's go over and make some of this. We need to make ourselves Elementium gear. We also need to make a Terra Blade, which is super cool. So let's have a look at the recipe for the Terra Blade, see if it's changed. I doubt it's changed, but you never know. So we need a Living with Twig and some Terra Steel, which is fine. So we'll grab a little bit of this. There we go. Why did I make two? <laughs> I don't know why I did that just then. Hmm. Okay. So we'll grab you, and we'll do you, and poof, gives us our Terra Blade. It's probably, uh, you know, our Manulin one is probably still far better, but it fulfills a quest, which is important. And we also have loads of this now. I made sure to make a fair bit of it so that we can make our armor. So we'll do you, and uh, this is going to be a definite upgrade to the armor that we have. It's going to be one step forward to being able to take out a Wither a little bit easier as well. Plus, we do get the bonus of spawning fairies, which, you know, is not that bad. We could make a fairy ring. That's a, that's something we could do. So that gives us that. Gives us a green heart and a flask of fortitude. So that's pretty important right there. So we'll pop you in that. Should give me an additional heart when it does it. And the flask of fortitude gives us resistance two for one minute 30. We can have six swigs of it. We can drink it six times. That is so big. Like, really, really, really helpful. I think I'm actually going to wear this stuff. Because it is pretty cool, isn't it? There we go. For now. For now. There we go. Cool, cool. And these can go back inside here. Let's put these on our armor stand. I'm actually thinking I might move this armor stand over to our Britannia area. And then we can have different stands in different areas, can't we? So we can have, like, one for our Farmcraft stuff, one for our Witchery stuff. So if we place this one... Let's just place it here. And we'll pop all of our Mana Steel on there. What bonus do we get with this? Uh, Great Fairy Blessing. 10% less mana cost on Mana Tools. Chance for Pixies to apply Potion Effects. Ah! And I'm, uh, I didn't know that. This is uh, some of the new Batania stuff. I haven't really looked into the uh, sets, but all of the armors now in Batania, if you wear a full set, you actually get a set bonus. It's pretty cool. I'm actually, a, I actually play a load of Diablo 3, if you don't know this. Like, I, I play, I don't really play Minecraft that much in my spare time. Well, I do, but I uh, play other things. And Diablo 3 is one, like, season 3 starts today. It's insane. But, it, I, whenever I see set stuff, I instantly think, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. It's a lot like Diablo right there. <laughs> so there's that. Let's put a little bit of music on. Cool, cool. And let's look at some of the other things that we can do. So now we've got that. We have got some quests here to do Gardens of the Earth. We're probably not going to do this yet because we do need to kill a wither and uh, such and such. Actually, I wonder why does that give us Gaia Spirits off the bat? Killing a wither gives us Gaia Spirits. Why would we not do the Gaia fight? I'm trying to think why we can't do the Gaia fight. I, I don't... Oh, man. Here comes music over the music. 1710, please! <laughs> Save me. Um, yeah, I don't know why we wouldn't do the guy fly. Unless that's uh, a multi-quest. You know, you have, like, one quest and another one. Chances are that's going to be kill the wither. Then we'll have another one here for, like, kill the guy Guardian. Or get ourselves a guy Spirit and we'll get more guy Spirits from it. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be it. I'm pretty sure one of the quests that we have which is how the world changes. Uh, one of these requires a never star, yeah, so. We have a lot to be doing, but let's look at some of these ones as well. So Chalk It Up is one that I think I want to try out, which is uh, this one, which requires Ritual Chalk. And for Ritual Chalk, we need some Gypsum, which I think I do have some Gypsum, because I made some. Yeah, there we go, good stuff. And let's pop this in here and see what it's going to cost us for ritual chalk we need gypsum we need wood ash which we know we have a lot of and tear of the goddess which is great so let's grab that we'll grab some i think this is tear of the goddess yeah we'll do that and we'll make ourselves some ritual chalk it gives us two so that'll be another quest done and uh if you haven't noticed today today is a day of doing quests <laughs> like we're gonna go around we're gonna do quests i would actually really like to make some more uh stands some armor stands because i think they're real cool so we need some stone slabs and we need some of that this is, you know this isn't a quest but it is uh it's cool nonetheless actually we've already got some here let's grab 
that's mine. So there we go. At least we can keep all of our stuff looking a little bit fancy, right? So let's grab one of you, and we'll get a few more. Let's make... How many should we do? Yeah, do you know what? We'll just do five. Why not? And that will do... Oh, have a bit of a lag spike. <laughs> Don't do that. Why is it lagging? What have I done? Did I make too many armor stands? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Minecraft gods. Don't smite me. I didn't mean to make five. Are we good? Have I been forgiven? I think I've been forgiven. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> that was a little bit worrying right there. All right, where are we going to put our witchery armor? Um, because I don't know how many different witchery armors we're going to have. So, I guess we could kind of place them along the back here. Like, if we go to you, we can, like, place them along here. It looks kind of witchery-ish, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks good. It looks like some sort of scarecrow, doesn't it? I like it. So, there's that. And have we got any other armors that we can play with? I don't think so. No. Okay. All right. Let's, let's uh, hand this quest in. So, that's that. That gives us those. We've, uh, oh, man, do I have to do more? Golden Chalk. In order to activate rituals... Oh, so this is all about rituals, if you didn't know. We're probably going to end up doing some of those. So, the coven witches you've spoken to have made the suggestions that you should learn the art of circle magic. A key, co a key, comp a key component? A key component of these circles are runes written in a special ritual chalk. You can craft the most basic ritual chalk from gypsum, which can be distilled from quick lime. And then we've got, in order to activate rituals, a foci rune of chalk mixed with gold dust must be placed. So we place this in the middle and this gives us our foci rune. So let's have a look at the golden chalk. And see what this is going to cost us. I Oh, we just do it in a witch's cauldron. Oh, that's not that bad. So we need a mandrake fruit, gold nugget, and a ritual chalk. Alright, let's grab ourselves a golden nougat. And I think we're only going to need one of these for the time being, so that's going to be just fine until we can start moving our uh, our rituals around, because we can move them around, we can like pick them up and whatnot. So that will give us that, we're going to need that, we're going to need a mandrake root, sweet, and we're also going to need to fill this with water, aren't we, so let's do you. I never know how much I actually need to fill this up, so I just do it all the way, <laughs> just in case. So it's a mandrake root, gold nugget, ritual chalk. Alright, so mandrake root. Gold Nugget, Ritual Chalk, give me things, make me stuff, pretty please, yeah, good stuff, alright, Golden Chalk, it's pretty deep, so that gives us that, gives us our uh, other way and Infernal Chalks, so for those of you who don't know, the uh, other types of chalks do need to be used for different types of rituals, but some of them actually uh, constitute to reducing altar costs on certain rituals as well, but they do have negatives and positives. Some of them have some negative effects. Some of them kind of do weird things. So if you kind of if you want to do one that's not that bad, just use white ritual chalk. But some of them do need you to do these. There are summoning ones and whatnot. So sometimes we have to kind of go into those. But I wonder if that opens up any other questage for us. I think we really need to do Bane of Tibbs before we can go any further. I've noticed, whenever I go into my book, my frame rate drops to like 15 when I open this book up. There was like a problem with HQM a long time ago, I don't know if that ever got fixed, where if you have a lot of quests, your uh, game kind of starts breaking <laughs> when you open the quest book. It's not, you know, it's not a huge problem, I'm not moaning, I'm just saying it would, not uh, you know, it's a thing. So watch out for it. <laughs> So let's look at what other quests we can do. I want to try and get, you know, a fair few done today. Oh, there we go. Look, we had uh, Life Through a Lens. That gives us some of that, which is always good. You know, that's good in the hood. Let's look at some of the other things we can do. I'm thinking I might actually start making some of the bee stuff. So, bees. And for this, we would need a modest princess. Should we find a modest princess? I think we should. You know, some of this might be helpful. Somehow there still seem to be beehives dotting the terrain. Using a scoop to break the hive allows you to collect some bees, which you believe you can help evolve to be better. <laughs> I like to be better. Making a scoop from wool will allow you to collect bees from the hives you've seen scattered across the wasteland. Okay. All right. Let's go uh, search for hives. I know where one is. It's over there. Um, so I'm going to have to go and do that. I don't know why I came into there just then. For some reason I had... For some reason, I thought the root, the, uh, why do I keep on runes? For some reason, I keep thinking the shards need to go over there. I've got runes on the mine, because I've been doing the Britannia runes for, uh, way too long. Let's put those in there as well. Cool, cool. Alright, let's go place our chalk in here. And, do that. 
And let's go and find some of these. So we need a scoop, firstly. So we're going to need some wool. And do I have any spare wool? I do. Good stuff. Let's have a look and see at what it's going to cost us to make a scoop. And this is the Fulmium scoop? Ah, oh, we can't make that yet. Oh, it's only one piece. That's, uh, it's fine. Gonna need some sticks. So we probably should make a couple of these because they do get used up fairly fast. So we'll make two. There we go. Cool stuff. Now give us those. Alright, let's go see if we can find one of these guys then. Now I know there's one over that way. So if we head off over in this general direction, we should be able to find it. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if it's the same type of bees across the whole map. It might be. You know, they might be the same ones across the whole area, but we'll see. What are these? Yeah, these are modest ones. We've got ignoble stock, which isn't that bad, so. All is well there. Let's uh, do this. We need to make, make, need to make a bee house. Okay. I'm just going to see if I can see any more. Look at that. That's a big chunk hole right there. <laughs> I just want to see if I can see any more around before we head back in. I don't want to go on a proper expedition, but it would be nice. Oh, there is one over there. All right. Let's go over this way. We'll grab this one as well. We might as well while we're out of the base. You know, it's not every day we come out of the base. It's a nice sunny day. It's time to get ourselves some bee hats. We've got another one over here. That's, there's a fair few. <laughs> They're kind of scattered all over the place. Uh, let's grab some of this. And oh, that's a node right there. Ha. Huh. Nice. I didn't actually realize nodes spawned around. I know it sounds silly. You'd think they would. But I wasn't too sure if they would. We actually got Valiant ones, right? That's pretty good. Um... Yeah, because we got given the... There's another node right there as well. We got given the uh, quest that would have given us nodes if we'd done the quest. So I was, you know, just taking it that they weren't going to spawn. But if they do, that's great. Because then we can go and fill our wand up. We can scan the nodes. Nodes give us pretty good uh, pretty good points when we scan them. So that's always pretty good. Um, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for those guys. But let's head back into the base. Here we are. So we've got our uh, bees. Which is pretty good. And, oh man, am I going to have to make an area for bees? Please don't <laughs> make me make an area for bees. <laughs> I already need to make a farm, which I said I'd do about 30 episodes ago. And we uh, probably are going to have to make an area for bees as well. But that's, that's fine. We can do that when the time comes to it. For now, let's make a bee house. And this is going to give us some of this. So just regular wood. We need some slabs. We need some of these things. Uh, where do we put our wood? I think it's over in our farm craft area. I think I left it over there. So we'll grab some of that. Where are you hiding out? There you are. Need some slabbage. Need some of this. A little bit of that. And I wonder if it will auto fill it for us. It does. Then that's cool, cool. So that should be that quest done. Yes. Gives us some more of these parched combs. And if we look at the use of these, we should, I believe, have we got the, uh... Oh, we haven't got the uh, B any I in. I can't remember the name of it. Um, yeah, there's, there's a mod that it gives you all of the uh, B recipes. I guess we haven't got that. So, uh, we're going to have to go off of this. But that's fine. That gives us B wax and honey drops. See if there's actually any other quest for it. There is. There's one for better bee housing and breaking out the hives. So, since starting work, what, we can make hives? Is that a thing? Since start since starting working with the modest bees, you've begun recalling other varieties of hives existing in the past. Maybe by reconstructing a modest hive back to its original condition, you could then use alchemy to exchange it for one of the other varieties. Oh, are we going to use the... Uh, I think we are. We're going to use the Britannia thing, aren't we? All right. So what's it going to cost us to be able to make a modest hive? It's going to cost us, well, it can actually cost us a fair bit, uh, item for B drone G name. All right, so I'm going to guess these are uh, common. <laughs> Just going to take a random guess right there. And for that, we're going to need air essence, cactus, and such. Actually, I wonder if these are just any, any one. So, three drones and a princess. How many drones have we got? Two. We haven't even got enough. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Well, we can't do that one. How's about we look at doing the um, apiary? Because I think that was what the better bees one is. So that requires an impregnated casing, which is going to require some seed oil in our carpenter. 
which is pretty deep. Uh, what's going to be a good way for us to make seed oil? I think we might end up just using it. Obviously, we can use seeds <laughs> before anyone else goes, oh, you can just, you know, you can use seeds. Uh, of course, we can do seeds, but I would rather not use my seeds up because that means getting a lot of seeds. And I actually don't have that many seeds, weirdly enough. Seed oil magic capsules, nut do. Seed oil. It might be a case of actually trying to grow some of these. I might might think of going into extra bees I, I, or extra trees. I know it sounds a little bit strange, but I am kind of thinking about... Oh, no, they're back. <laughs> They've returned. No, don't do it to me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to be that for today's episode, I believe. It was another quest-doing day. You know, if we have we have these episodes sometimes. I know every day is a quest day, but we do have episodes sometimes where there is no general direction. We're just going to do some quests. And today was one of those days. We got a decent amount done. You know, we got our farmcraft stuff set up. <clears throat> We've got some research for me to do off camera, as well as uh, a little bit more grinding. I want to get the rest of the seeds done so that we can get the extreme stone. Then once we've got the extreme stone, we can look into the wither fight. The wither fight will allow us to carry on with our witchery. It's all falling into place one way or another. But for now, that's going to be it. Have yourself a great day. Have... Oh, I look a little bit different now. <laughs> Have a good as always. And bye-bye.